watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. This is a live look over Lake Almanor, actually a quieter scene than what we're seeing in Butte and Glen counties, puffy clouds and a little bit of blue sky out there. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like Palm Springs yeah. compared to our parking lot here off of Eaton Road. Chief Meteorologist Jason Siff joins us now. When is this going to pass us by, Jason? It's going to happen fairly quickly, actually. It's already on the north side of town, continuing to move to the north fairly rapidly. But if you live in northern Butte County, also northeastern Butte County, as you get up into the ridge areas around Forest Ranch, Cohasset, even Butte Meadows. Keep in mind, this storm is moving to the north northeast, and it will be affecting the northeastern corner of the county. We also have some isolated showers and thunderstorms trying to take shape to the southeast of Redding and also to the west of Red Bluff. But the most active weather is still over northern Butte County. Now, a good portion of Chico is already beginning to dry out uh, some rain showers on the east side of town, but here's where that thunderstorm is and the warning for it continues until 530. So the bottom of the hour, unless it gets extended yet again, it's going to continue to move up north all the way into the northern part of the ridge. So please keep that in mind. Again, we'll have some locally heavy snowfall out of that. And once we get past this thunderstorm, it will get a little bit quieter. We'll have some isolated rain showers around the valley by nine o'clock this evening. You can see around Red Bluff, western parts of Glen County as well as the Butte County area. Some isolated showers, but nothing like what's going on outside right now. Some more snow showers also over the Sierra, and then another round of rain pushes overhead overnight. So between 1 and about 5 a.m., Parts of Glen and Butte County will have a good chance for some rain, some more snow for the Sierra and the adjacent foothills, more rounds of rainy and snowy weather by the afternoon, but it won't be raining all day for the valley, just a chance for showers, plenty of snow for northern Shasta County, southern Siskiyou County, and a good portion of Trinity County. Even by 11 o'clock tonight, we're not done with this current storm, with more areas of rain for the valley and more snow for the mountains. Quieter on Wednesday, we're going to have weaker wind. There'll still be some isolated showers of rain and snow, but nothing like like what we're getting right now or what we're going to get late Tuesday into early Wednesday. So I want to show you the short-term precipitation because we have other storms going forward Thursday through Monday. In the next half hour of our newscast, I'm going to show you how much additional rain and snow we can expect. But in the short term, still looking pretty good for most of the valley, between a tenth of an inch and about two-thirds of an inch around the valley. But for the mountains, between one and two inches of precipitation is still a likelihood, especially around Shingletown and Mineral. And when we get that into the snow equivalent, it's looking like one to two feet of snow a possibility all the way through Wednesday night into early Thursday. Far less precipitation for the valley. The mountains will get affected the most. But again, Thursday and Friday, again this weekend and early next week, more rounds of rain and snow. And that'll be a warmer air mass. So those snow levels are going to rise. Keep in mind, if you live in the lower foothills, we're going to have a good chance for rain falling on the snow that we've already received. So make sure you're very vigilant. We're probably not going to have a lot of widespread flooding issues. Issues, but we're going to keep our eyes on that all the way through this weekend into early next week and make sure you keep your eyes on Action News now. So as far as the wind is concerned, not too much tonight. We'll have some more breezes developing on Tuesday. Most of the gusts between 10 and 25 miles an hour. A little bit less wind as we move into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening, but more wind is also ahead. So widespread winter weather advisors in purple and winter storm warnings in blue. These will last through late tomorrow night into early Wednesday. And if you live above 3,000 feet, one to two total feet of snow possibility. Wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour, especially if you happen to be near one of those thunderstorms like the one that we have outside right now. So overnight tonight, we'll have teens and 20s for lows in the mountains, mainly mid to upper 30s for the valley. Highs still almost 20 degrees below average in the valley. 47 degrees for a high tomorrow in Redding. 50 degrees for Chico and 42 degrees for Paradise. Next seven days in Chico, we're going to have a little bit less active weather Wednesday, but still a chance for showers. Good chances for more rain Thursday. Thursday through Monday. It won't rain every minute of every day, but we're also going to have below average temperatures. For the Redding area, a chance for some snow and rain mixes Tuesday morning and again Thursday and Friday morning. Highs staying below average all the way through this coming weekend. And don't forget, when you go to bed Saturday night, that's when we spring forward an hour. Daylight saving time is going to begin. All right. Thanks, Thanks Jason.